how to homeschool in Florida. That is what we will be covering today, so let's get started. Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Michelle Babino, and I'm with TeamBabino.com with Align Right Realty right here in Tampa, Florida. Today, we're going to be covering a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to homeschool here in Florida. You have a lot of options living here in Florida, whether it's public school, private school, or homeschooling. Florida is a homeschool-friendly state, and I'd like to tell you why. But before we do that, I'd like to ask you, if this is your first time visiting our channel, to go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button and hit that little notification bell right next to it. That way you're notified every time we post a new video, which is every week. You and your family have decided that homeschooling is going to be your choice to educate your children. Your first step would be to send a notice of intent to your school district superintendent. The notice of intent should include the names of all the children that will be homeschooled, their birth dates, their address, and parent signature. Make sure to do this within 30 days of beginning your home education program. If you are withdrawing your kids from a public or a private school, it is wise to do this immediately just to avoid a truancy allegation. Your second step would be to maintain a portfolio. Your portfolio must contain your documented records. One of the things I would suggest for the portfolio is just to keep a binder of all of the working material that your child is doing and keep it all dated so you have it in chronological order so when you turn it over to get your portfolio evaluation, everything is there and documented. Florida does not require any lessons to be planned or approved in advance. The parent determines what is included in the portfolio. Number three would be to make sure that your portfolio is available for inspection by the superintendent with a 15-day written notice. This isn't something that the superintendent has to do, but it is something that they can do. But you are not required to show it to anybody without proper written notice. Number four would be to submit an evaluation for each child to the superintendent. The law requires an annual educational evaluation which must be filed by the parent or legal guardian every year. The parent is the one that's responsible to make sure that it arrives there. The annual evaluation is due on the anniversary date of your submission of letter of intent. And your educational evaluation may be completed by a Florida certified teacher of your choice, any nationally normed student achievement test administered by a certified teacher of your choice, state student assessment test, psychological evaluation, any other method mutually agreed upon by the parent and the superintendent. Number five, preserve your child's portfolio for two years. Number six, submit a letter of termination upon completion of your home education program, whether it's because they are graduating or they are entering into a private or a public school. One of the steps that I did include in the how-to step-by-step to follow the Florida regulations for homeschooling would be basically just to choose your homeschool program, your curriculum. There are many different curriculums out there that you can choose. Florida does not require you to, uh, to pick any particular curriculum. They don't let make you pick from a specific list or anything like that. You can choose as a family which curriculum works best for you and your children. There are many different resources out there to help the Florida homeschool families. One of these resources is the FPEA, which is the Florida Parent Educator Association, and I highly suggest if you decide to homeschool your children to strongly consider joining this association. It's a very minimal annual fee, but they have many resources that are available to you, and also they do a annual convention, a homeschool convention, which is one of the largest, I believe, in the southeast, maybe in the nation. It is held in Orlando every year at the end of May, the weekend right before Memorial Day. This past year it was held at the Rosen Shingle Creek Resort, and it will be held at the same resort in 2020. Another resource that I highly suggest if you're just starting with homeschooling is HSLDA, which is your homeschool legal defense. So have you ever thought about homeschooling? And if you have, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you have any questions about this, we'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have, or at least help you and guide you in the right direction. There are plenty of homeschool Facebook groups in Tampa that you can join. 
There are also many co-ops in the Tampa Bay area that you can join, and I'd be happy, again, to help you and guide you in any way possible. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and got some great information from this video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and we will see you next week.